Um, I know that the video from yesterday wasn't posted on or uploaded on YouTube because for some reason it wouldn't upload. It sat there for 24 hours and said, uploaded. The most it got was 8% and then it gave up again. So we're going to see. This, this video might upload before that video uploaded. We'll see how it works. But anyway, tonight we're making one I've made before called Chicken Kiev. And if I remember correctly, it was pretty good. So we are going to make green beans, chicken. I get to pound on the chicken, which is always exciting. I love to pound on things. We are going to get to mince the uh, garlic, which again means that I get to pound on something. And mince my parsley, which while I don't get to pound on it, at least I get to cut it. Um, wrist, still not strong. I need both hands to cut often. So those of you who pray, please pray that my wrist starts to gain some strength here because all I want for Christmas is a wrist that works. That being said, let's get down to the down and dirty. All right, so first I'm going to trim the ends off of the green beans. Now this involves basically cutting the ends off the green beans. This I can do because green beans are not very strong and I'm, I can pretty much just kind of cut the little ends off and there I go, which is good. I'm happy about that. Um, I'm also, hey, come back here, uh, going to be putting them in a plastic bag because I have to toss them with stuff. So rather than put them in a bowl, stick them in the bag right away. So here we are trimming the beans. The beans are going to get roasted, which may or may not result in tender beans. We will see. Uh, it may just end up with, like, dried out beans. So I will get back to you on that. You are observing now my cat, who is trying to figure out what the heck I'm doing with the green beans. my cat is not cooperating with this particularly Bastet could you move out here yeah. there she's now looking at me like uh you are being very weird, human. And that's saying a lot. Mm. A piece of it bounced off and ran away. Yeah. Are you trying to figure out what I'm doing with the green beans here? I cut the pieces off, like that, and then they fall into the trash can. And some of them are already dead. So we are just going to throw them away. Nothing like having a cat supervise your work.
All right, so now the green beans have all been cut and all the little pieces have been swept up. There's one moment I wish I could have caught one of the green bean ends went flying off and hit Bastet in the nose. It was funny. She didn't know what to do. So now we must mince the garlic. So who should I beat up today? Hmm? Let's see. Who's kind of ticked me off lately? Uh, we're watching, or my dad's watching a game that has Michael Vick in it. I do not like Michael Vick. I do not feel that someone who abuses animals should ever be allowed to go back to playing football like that. I think he should have been fired and banned from football for all times because he didn't just fight dogs, he tortured dogs. And that means, in my book, he's an evil person. Because people who torture a dog are evil. That's just all there is to it. So this is Michael Vick. Wish. Wish that were this Michael Vick himself. <sighs> All right. So now I need to stem and mince the, gar the parsley. All right. So now we shall mince the parsley. Mince, mince, mince. Mince, 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 mince. I still love my scissors. These have got to be one of the best purchases I ever made. Seriously, they are. I mean, they make the whole mincing process like so, so easy. Just mince, 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 mince. But yeah, I'm sure that there are people out there who think, well, he paid for his crime. Michael Vick, I mean. I don't think you can ever truly pay for that crime. And the thing is that people who abuse children and who abuse animals are just plain evil. You know? Now, I know, I know, there are reasons behind why people sometimes do some of the things they do. And I do understand that there, you know, abuse breeds abuse. But I also think that you don't have to follow it. Yeah, there's tendencies. But you should be able to see when your tendencies are going that way and seek help, you know? So, and, but abusing animals, especially dogs, that just, uh, that, that speaks to a depravity that is just beyond. You know, just beyond. Okay, so now that I have minced the parsley, minced the garlic, trimmed the green beans, now I must pat the chicken down. So let's get these guys out and pat them down. See if they're carrying any weapons. All right, so now in a bowl, I am combining the butter
and half the parsley. And garlic. Where are you? There we go. Okay. And I'm going to make this into my butter that's going to go on the top of my Kiev, my chicken Kiev. All right, now, now that it is all mixed, now I am supposed to use a piece of paper here. All right, now I'm going to divide it into two. discs out of it. Now, now I'm going to put this in the refrigerator so that they kind of firm up because they're going to go on the top of the chicken at the end of the cooking process. All right, so my chicken. I put it in two separate bags so that it had room to kind of stretch out as I beat on it. I am going to take a, bowl, a rolling pin and I'm going to beat my chicken until it is a half inch thickness. So, hmm, let me see, who am I beating this time? Hmm, I don't know. There are so many people the world that need to get their past for one thing or another. For getting others on drugs, for getting others involved in all kinds of mean and horrible, terrible, awful things that they should not be doing in their lives. Hey. I think this knife is going to go somewhere. Got a good thing going on here. Hmm. Does that look half inch? I think I might have to be down it a little bit. There. Now. You shall beat on the other one. I find that doing them separate, they don't kind of, they have room to spread out in the bank. You may ask me, why are you not using the hammer? Because this somehow is better at spreading out the chicken. And I don't have to wash it because it never touched the chicken. All right, so now my chicken has been well beaten. Throw that away. 
now I will season both sides with a little bit of salt and pepper. Come here, chicken. Come on, come out of there. Okay, good. And come out. Come out of their chicken. Come on, come on, come on. Come, on. come out. There we go. All right. They're certainly a lot flatter, you know? And yeah. now uh, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. All right. And pinch of pepper. Okay. Boop, 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 boop. Now turn you over. Plop. All right, and pepper. Ah, that one got a little bit too peppery. Okay, so now that they have been salted and peppered, I'm just going to kind of set them off to the side. And now I'm here with my, oh, any of you wondering what this is for? This is for me. Yes, I am Lutheran. Alcohol is part of my religion. Okay, so, and I'm also of German heritage, so beer is too. Um, olive oil, salt, and a pinch of pepper. So, pinch of pepper. And half a teaspoon of salt. Ooh, we're, we're going big time. So you are a half, yeah. And I think I'm going to need some more kosher salt pretty soon. And olive oil. All right. Zip you up. Toss you. And there you are. No beans were lost in this doing. Now, I put the beans on the pan and single layer and then I stick them in the oven for 11 to 15 minutes. So here we go. Thank you. 
So, combine the panko with the parsley. Combine the flour with a fourth of a cup of water. The oil is heating. And now, See, plate. And I'm going to dredge the chicken first through the flour. And then through the panko. And then set it over here. Now I'll do the same with the other piece of chicken. There. And. you know, well covered. All right, there we go. Now, get rid of this. And this. All right, now, over here to my pan. There we go. Now it says test it. Should sizzle. And it should be good. So um carefully because you really don't want it to like go crazy. Put it in and whoop. Put it in and throw that away. Get some more paper towel for when they come out. And they should cook um about three to five minutes per side. So we're going to go for three the first time and then see where that takes us. Ah. My oil spat at me there. So there. Now the chicken is cooking. The beans are cooking. And I'm going to go get the rest of the stuff on the table. Um, in preparation for supper. All right, now we flip the chicken over, preferably without it getting burned. And we Cook it again okay. and continue with the process. Oh. All right, so we return now to my work area to see the chicken and the pats of butter. And, ah, come on, the green beans are fighting me here. There we go. Green beans, chicken, and the butter. And so this is what it's supposed to look like. 
this is what it does look like. Now let's see what it tastes like. I'll be back. All right, so the overall um, opinion of this meal was very good. The beans, I was right, roasting them just wasn't the thing to do. My dad said, next time boil them. So I will. Uh, hey, you gotta try. To hopefully, this will upload. I don't know. I may end up having to upload both these videos sometime during the week. One way or another, though, it will get uploaded. So, see you next week.